Now here's a build which takes the name of the exotic No Backup Plan seriously. If you are going to play Titan, then you should play like a Titan, and honestly, nothing fits the role better than this. I started this build as a joke, but now it's a bit of an art form. There is a method to the madness, and here's what it is. For the weapons, I didn't just pick three shotguns at random and call it a day. They all help each other out quite well. Tractor Cannon is our exotic of choice. This heavy shotgun fits the no backup plans criteria, even though it functions a little differently. You can pick up multi kills of this easily to instantly provide an overshield, or use it as a primer against larger targets to apply a 30% weaken to them. Nessus Oblation is your good old reliable, able to pick off enemies at a further distance, can deal heavy DPS after a weaken from tractor cannon, and it's also void, so it will benefit from volatile rounds and be able to generate void breaches. There's a lot of fantastic perk options here, but third column demolitionist fits best. 20% grenade regen per kill is fantastic and it provides an instant reload on grenade throw. Fourth column, go with either Vorpal or Frenzy, each providing a 15% damage bonus when active, or destabilizing rounds if you want a little bit of extra volatility. Finally, we have the fifth horseman, or until it's return as it is more commonly known. This shotgun is here to unload burst damage as fast as possible with Cascade Point. Cascade Point increases the weapon's fire rate massively, and is activated by getting a kill with another weapon or two crits of our stuck shotgun. Against high health targets, you can reliably do this combo. One tractor shot, two slug crits, and then dump the whole mag with until it's returned. Pairing with Cascade Point, you can go with either Overflow or Auto Loading Holster. Cascade Point doesn't last long enough for an entire overflowed mag to be dumped, but you can get off around 9 shots with it if it is enhanced. But it's still a great option. But I prefer Auto Loading as it's much easier to just fire and forget and let the gun reload itself without relying on picking up ammo bricks. And the exotic which ties all of this together is of course for no backup plans. While playing on Void, it provides an overshield when landing two final blows of any shotgun, or one final blow on a major, and additional shotgun kills will refresh and extend the overshield. Also, while you have an overshield, any shotgun will deal 35% more damage, higher than what you can get with any amount of search mods. Shotguns also get increased reload speed and airborne effectiveness. You can see why I wanted to be as shotgun crazy as possible when using this. The stacking effects of no backup plans allow you to play super aggressive while having the extra overshield protection. I'm not going to say bring this into a Grandmaster Nightfall, as the line between popping off and throwing gets so very thin in high end content. But for Legend and Below, you can have so much fun with this, and you can see some Legend Lost Sector content where I can just breeze through it easily. But what else goes into the build to make it a complete package? As we're playing Void, Volatile Overshields, Devourer and Grenades are our best friends, so my class options lean into using them. Use Shield Bash for your melee as it provides another avenue for a full overshield. Scatter Grenades are a great option as reliable grenade kills are needed to activate Volatile Rounds. Otherwise, use whatever option you prefer. The aspects I use were Controlled Demolition and Offensive Bulwark. These combined give reduced ability cooldowns, the ability to AoE spread volatility and healing from it. The reason I did not go with Bastion is because we already have multiple easy ways to provide an overshield, and another avenue to get one did not outweigh the benefits of these other aspects. Fragments use Echo of Starvation for Devour, Echo of Persistence to extend Devour, as well as your overshields, Echo of Instability so grenade kills give volatile rounds to your void weapons, and finally Echo of Exchange so melee kills grant grenade energy. Uncharged melee kills will also count for this. Actually, a quick note on uncharged melees. If you have a Void Overshield, these melees will deal additional damage due to Offensive Bulwark, but they also apply Volatile and are classed as a charged melee, so Heavy Handed will generate orbs on every single kill. Armor mods, I won't go into full detail, but the key components are Orb Generation to get Devour active. Void Siphon and Heavy Handed are the best of this. Do not run Surges, as it will not stack with a damage bonus provided by no backup plans. Instead, use your Armor Charges on Grenade Kickstart. Void Reserves, alongside Special and Heavy Ammo Finder, will keep your ammo economy in good shape and fill out stat points into Resilience and Discipline. You will want to run the Artifact mods Authorised Void, Authorised Melee, Unto the Breach, Protective Breach and Supernova. As for variations, you can run Acrius instead of Tractor Cannon if you want a heavy weapon which is just big damage. I fully understand big number equals good. For the cowards out there who do not want to commit to free shotguns, replace Nessus with your weapon of choice. Keeping it void is nice for volatile rounds and artifact synergy, but just do whatever fits the situation. And if you don't have Nessus, the Bone Chiller is another void stuck, easily available from Varrix on Europa. 
or your open high value target loot chests. Now go out there and be the most aggressive titan you could possibly be. Nothing can't be solved with shotgun blasts and many many punches. Thank you for watching, drop a like and sub if you enjoyed.